What's up, Leo babies? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and This Bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my Leo gods. All right, babies, this is going to be for January 2021 in this bitch. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started in this motherfucker. And while you're here, hit that like, share, and subscribe button, Leos. All right, here we go. Sun, moon, rising. Let's get the overall messages. Didn't get anything clear audiently. I was just feeling like a lot of you guys are trying to make some decisions and it's driving you a little crazy. We got co-create. Okay, so there could be somebody where... There's a difference, all right? You got the cheetah and the motherfucking owl trying to make something work. Okay, and it looks like some sort of incubation here with this egg as well, too. So I see somebody trying to make something work. Or there could be a situation where you're trying to create a uh, happier environment. Because you got happy, happy owl. So there is some sort of circumstance where there could be a surprise, a gift that comes to you where there is a loving time. Now, this also could be a time where you're going to have to let some shit go. All right. You might have to go the motherfucking distance. You might have to go the extra mile. But I'm seeing that for some of you Leos, it's time to let shit go. Okay. If it's not making you happy, then bye bye, baby. You got Treasure Island here, so some of you guys might feel secluded, but there's also an experience or a good change here that makes you feel at home. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I do have the Three of Swords here, Leo's, right behind the King of Wands. Mm, mm, mm. So as I am breaking the deck, I do see overall there could be a third party situation that you're trying to get over. This also could be some sort of heartbreak as well. Or just you taking care of yourself. Ten of cup energy here. Whatever is making you happy. Now, I get that on this picture. You got two different energies. There's two females here. Some of you guys could be in same-sex relationships. But I'm also seeing overall in your energies is trying to end a situation that could have been very toxic. Okay, could have been all about financial things. And I feel like you're secluding yourself or just wanting to block off uh, whatever is not serving you. That's what I'm seeing here. Definitely could be healing from something that was very painful or a breakup possibly with that three of swords coming out. So let's see what's going down in your love life for my Leos. For January 20, 21. Give it to me in romance, angels. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life. So either somebody's making the money or somebody's not making the money. Okay, they're not making enough. They're not doing enough. It also could be something uh, as well where there was somebody who's reaching. Because this bitch looks like she's reaching. <laughs> Got a handout. Okay. But it says very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it will come to your motherfucking ass. Straight up. You're going to have to figure out what you want. You're going to have to figure out what you need. So you can attracted to you okay so clearly decide what you want what you need we also have calling in your soulmate and this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner that you seek so you could have found something in someone that you liked about them or that you admired about them but i'm seeing with this engagement here and this could be the one i feel like there could have been a missed opportunity or someone missed an opportunity okay now you got flirtation and love yourself flirts so Either you're going to be taking care of yourself or you're going to be flirting with the new motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and jump into it, Leos. Four. There's that ten of pentacles again. So I'm seeing a lot of things coming together within a family foundation. 
This could be a move, some permanency as well. Leo's in love. Give it to me. All right, High Priestess here could have been dealing with the Pisces. I'm also getting two of swords. So there could have been two different people or two different energies that were here. Okay, you do have somebody that already knew what was up. Okay, somebody who was in the knowing. It could have been why they were being pushed away or why the situation definitely had to... Somebody had to switch the dynamics up. Okay, now I also feel like there could have been two different people or two different energies that you might have to choose from or you were entertaining. But I'm seeing on your person's end, they feel like it was some sort of injustice that happened here. Queen of Swords. Wow. So, Leos, there's definitely a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that is around you. Um, I feel like there's a lot of quietness. Also could be an Aquarian as well, a Virgo in as well. And I'm seeing Libra here. But somebody feels like something is unfair and you're not making a choice or there could be a decision that you need to make, Leos, or this could go vice versa. But you do have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck, which is definitely you, or you could be dealing with another Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So let's see um, how they feel about you. I'm getting somebody body look bomb in the shower. That's that Aquarian energy. Okay, here we go. I feel like they're not happy. Ten of Swords here. Wow. Nine of Cups. So it could have taken some steps. But this person definitely feels as though they're not being fulfilled with this Ten of Swords here. And also with the Nine of Cups. Okay, this is somebody who's not getting their wish fulfillment. I'm also seeing somebody who could have ended some things or just feel like the situation is at rock bottom. Terrifying energy here. So there could be a relationship or a, a marriage that could be involved. Okay. But I'm also seeing with the Page of Pentacles, uh, you know, somebody is blocking off their energy towards you. Could be businessman, businesswoman, somebody who owns their own business. But I'm seeing that somebody definitely is not wanting to take any action. They feel as though it could be a situation where they have to compete with this Queen of Wands here. Eight of Wands, Ace of uh, Wands here. So this could have been somebody that you had a sexual connection with or also with the Eight of Wands, somebody you were messaging back and forth. But I feel like you were having to protect yourself. Okay, because look how he's got his glove as the bird is landing down. So some of you guys are definitely um, getting and receiving, giving and receiving information. Um, but I also feel like you're having to protect yourselves or someone is having to protect themselves based off of what has happened either in the past or um, their traumas. But I'm seeing uh, as far as relationship wise, where this is headed, I'm getting 10 of Pentacle energy here. Also with the moon, somebody's hiding some secrets, five of Pentacles and also strength energy, which is you. So I feel like somebody feels like, you know, they're hiding something or they feel left out in the cold. Definitely could be a um, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And I'm also getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy very strongly here. I feel somebody feels as though they've had to leave out a uh, Virgo and Taurus, Capricorn. This could be there's someone arising. Or that the situation with this engagement is having to move to a higher level. But I feel some of you Leos, um, there's definitely a vibe of somebody that's having to let go. Could be torn as well. I think a lot of major arcanas. But with the three of swords, somebody's got some information or some news that they could be receiving. It could be, you know, that they've made a, it could be a breakup. It could be someone spilling the beans. Okay. Yeah, that devil's here. Could be done with Capricorn. But Leo's, there's definitely a toxicity that's around. This could be obsessive behaviors or somebody's very obsessive with you. 
And I'm definitely picking up with this three of wands. It could be somebody is leaving a third party situation, seeing through the toxicity. It could have been a sexual relationship or a sexual vibe. But I'm getting this is toxicity. Okay. I feel somebody um, could be getting wounded or there could be a wound that's here. Look at their bodies. They got all that blood and stuff on them. So I do feel like there could be some indication of somebody uh, either having sex elsewhere or this could be somebody who's trying to mark their motherfucking territory. Okay. So let's see about possible outcomes for my Leos. Possible outcomes. One more shuffle. Do you see that two of cups? So there could be a situation coming together or someone is spying on a relationship. Okay. And someone's next actions. This could be somebody from a foreign or somebody could be dealing with somebody who's, um, foreigner or um how you say uh somebody overseas okay or a different culture all right so far you have the four of wands here also the chariot so i'm getting that there could be a lot of things financial wise that's happening that you might feel you're not able to make some movement definitely could be something going down in your household too as well or just the home, fixing the home. But I'm seeing some of you Leos, your partner. This could be an Aquadian. Also Libra and Gemini is what I'm getting here. They feel like you need to give them a little bit more love, baby. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, both in reverse. So somebody's not dishing out what they want, what they want back in return. Could be scorpion energy here, but I keep seeing this ten of swords. So I know that there's something that is coming to an end. But I'm also getting somebody's wanting to work the situation out. Could be somebody who just minds their own business. Definitely a Gemini rising is what I'm getting here with this uh, lover's energy in reverse. And I also feel like for some of you guys with this moon, it's like somebody's secrets is getting ready to be spilled out. Okay, it could be financial secrets. This also could be some uh, change that's happening in your life um, with this moon that's being revealed to you, especially if it's dealing with your possessions, okay? I'm also getting there could be some legal matters that might uh, you might have to take care of for some of you guys. But possible outcomes, I feel like you might be awaiting something here, but this Leo Sagittarius Aries... Um, you also have Scorpion energy is definitely making some major changes with this tower and this five of pentacles. Okay. Somebody's emotionally disturbed and they feel lonely. What's this tower here for? You got the magician, the strength energy. So somebody is manipulating this situation. Either they're trying to manipulate it to come to you. Okay. And show you love or they're still in regrets in the past. Period. Dot. Four of swords here. And also magician in reverse. So it could be dealing with Gemini and Addis. I'm also getting Virgo in as well, Leos. But a lot of you guys have choices and decisions to make. Could have been that there were a few people that you were in limbo with or trying to figure them out. Seeing a lot of third party situations and also a lot of spying going on. Could be someone from the past. Also Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. But I feel uh, somebody wants you to entertain that motherfucking ass. Otherwise, it looks to me like they might be moving on or you might be moving on. Okay? But I do see a lot of financial matters coming into play. Could be with the court or judicial system. Whatever the case may be, somebody is definitely taking care of those matters. Okay? And I also feel like um, for a lot of you guys, there's some emotional change that you need to be wary of the unexpected. And I do see that there could be some jealousy or somebody who's closing themselves off. Could be due to some things that are happening online. But like I said, you guys' money is on the up and up with this Ten of Pentacles here. And never forget it. Ace of Pentacles as well. So bringing something together and offering or offers, financial offers, with both of those cards like that, baby. Okay, a new house, new car, 
All right, Leos, I love you guys all so much. I hope that this resonated with you. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Peace.